I'm a scientist here at Zimmer and Peacock. I'm based in Norway. Uh, what I'm going to try to demonstrate is a typical uh, characterization test that we make uh, for every batch of glucose sensors that are fabricated. So, um, so in this case, I am actually, in order to have a nice uh, staircase response, uh, I'm actually going to use a, a beaker test. So, so I, um, I'm not sure if you are able to see what I am showing, but basically, I have a beaker here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipette uh, five milliliters of um, of, uh, of um, phosphate buffer solution. Um, solution, and then I'm going to titrate titrate uh, different. Um, uh, so glucose, one molar of glucose in PBS solution in order to uh, measure the step response to different concentrations of glucose. So I'm going to pipette 25 microliters uh, of one molar glucose in PBS and like that I'm, I'm going to do five millimolar steps. So this is one of the, of the ZP glucose sensors and uh, and this is all connected to one of our so a potential stat so um i believe you i'm going to do have... now is i use steering in order to uh, avoid any kind of um depletion of glucose at the electron at the electrode and so by using a steering bar and now i'm going to dip try to only immerse the electrodes. This is important. So as you can see to the crocodile clips, we have uh, these are the crocodile clips that are connected to a connector uh, that actually is uh, is connecting to the sensor physically. So, um, so this is just a standard connector with a standard pitch. Um, and uh, we, we are connecting it in this way. So once I Im immerse the we have details about this connector on the web store, I believe. What I I will do before I start sharing my screen in order for you to better visualize the experiment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipette. So I transferred um, one molar PBS solution to a small beaker here uh, in order not to to, uh, to acquire directly from the bottle. And I'm going to pipette 25 microliters to the solution every time I want to see a five, a five millimolar step. So, um, mm -hmm. so basically, that's the only thing I'm going to do. So I will share my screen with you now. Share, Once this is done, um, we we use a chronoamperometry technique. So we have several techniques. If you have any questions about the technique or want to to investigate a little bit further, you can use this question mark. It's it's very nice and it will explain exactly what this technique is doing. Um, and then I select the current range. I normally select for the for the ZP glucose sensors, I normally select between one nanoamp and 100 microamps. And I leave the pre-treatment uh, pre settings as, as at zero, I don't want that. And I'm, I'm uh, running um, a potential of 650 millivolts at a, a sampling rate of one second. And I run it, for example, here, I'm gonna run it for 1,500 seconds, it, not necessarily, but it's just to put some time during the mm -hmm. time you want to have the measurement. I also do not uh, add anything to the post measurement or peripherals or anything like that. One thing that you can do in order to apply a filter to your data and smooth a little bit your data is to, to do a, a data smoothing. You can do this afterward, afterwards in the, um, in the curve calculation, uh, sorry, in the curve operations. But uh, and normally I do from uh, no spike rejection to 25 times, which, which basically gives a good, in, in case of any noise due to your setup or to the, due to the steering, it gives you uh, some, um, yeah, a, a, a smoother curve and allows you to see a little bit better the data, a little bit more pretty to watch so um so what what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start running this measurement i'm going to discard this data 
you could you could um, add to this data but in this case i'll just start a brand new one i am gonna hide this one to try to make my graph a bit better i'm just gonna zoom here so this is a typical amperometric curve so what we are gonna do is we're gonna wait 100 seconds for it to stabilize uh, in this case the sensor is already wet so I, I can actually do a little bit, I have used it previously, so I can actually do a little bit less than 100 seconds. So we'll see how the data looks like. And um, so, so the, the, the current range is also important, right? So if, if, if for example, we were at um, limited by any chance in the current range, you'd see in the beginning probably a flat line uh, before it would actually start dropping this has to do with the double air capacity effect at the electrode side I'm, uh, i am starting <laughs> to aspire some of the one molar pbs solution to my pipette and once it hits the 100 second mark i will pipette into the solution and we'll see if we can see a uh, response to glucose in this sense it should be a five millimolar glucose response so once you reach that mark so i will pipe that so that's it this is my first five millimolar step mm -hmm. so we're gonna wait a little bit i'll wait until uh 140 seconds then I will add another 25 microliters into the solution. So we are approaching the 140 second mark and here we go. So now we are looking at a 10 uh, millimolar uh, response. So I'll go all the way to 25. So in this in, in this instance, I will just uh, keep on pipetting. So uh, so I'm gonna pipette once more now. Mm -hmm. So that's 15. And once more. So this will be 20 millimolar. And for each step, so we, we average the, the current for each step and then we do um, a curve fitting um, based, a linear curve fi fitting based on the, on the actually um, uh, current density that we record mm -hmm. i mean you don't need to do much with that data i mean that data is you know it's not like you're searching for signal is it i mean it's kind of uh, it's this yeah. this sensor is over one year old martin one year old is it a one year old over. sensor <laughs> it's all over that over that so uh, so now i'm gonna pipette to 25 millimolar as you come to a higher range you will uh, lose some of that linearity um mm -hmm. but um but still it's uh this one is is, is really good so you, you see that steps are slightly different from the 5 and 10 millimolar and maybe 15 uh but but it's uh it's very good